All right, so first we're gonna start off with an older $5 bill from 1969. This is graded by PCGS, and we will look at some more modern bills here as we go. This bill, I almost wanna say this coin, because we filmed so many coin videos here on the channel. This $5 bill here has an ink smear error, which we can see there on the face of the bill, going through Lincoln's face there. Uh, so really cool error. The back looks normal like any old $5 bill would. This bill sold for over $130 in this condition, uh, so not too bad. All right, so here's a 1969 $1 bill. As we look at the seals and the serial numbers, you can see that they are misaligned, so they're shifted over to the right side uh, of the bill. Uh, so always be on the lookout for that. Very obvious thing to look for when you're just going through your dollar bills. This is not in the best condition. The bill has certainly been circulated. It's been creased and bent and folded up, you know. Uh, so this bill ended up selling for over $165 in this condition. You know, had it been a very high grade, it could have sold for a lot more money. Now here's another 1969 Federal Reserve note. This dollar bill has a mismatched serial number. So this is something you always want to check. You always want to make sure that the numbers and the letters on each side of the bill are matching. On the left side here, it starts with 4-4, and then here on the right side of the bill, it starts with 4-3. So that second digit there, four and three, are mismatched. They're supposed to be matching. If they are not matching, then you could be talking some money. This bill sold for over $430. So always, always check your serial numbers. Now here is a 1977 $1 bill. It has an insufficient inking error. So we'll see the seal here on the right, the green seal, uh, but here on the left, you can barely see that black seal on the dollar bill here. So that's an insufficient inking error and this dollar bill sold for over $135. It is in pretty nice condition as well. Now here's a 1981 $1 bill. So this is a printed fold error here. So left side, we see the seal and the serial numbers. The right side, we do not see the seal and the serial numbers because it was folded over at some point. We can actually see here on the back a small portion of that green seal as we zoom in there uh, right below the pyramid. Uh, so this bill ended up selling for over $260. Uh, not too bad for a $1 bill. Now here is an older $5 bill again from 1981. We'll see here on the front that the seal and the serial numbers do look shifted a little bit to the right, right? Um, so it is an offset error. We'll see it bleeding through here, uh, the green seal and the serial numbers here on the back of the bill. This $5 bill sold for over $215. It is in very nice condition as well. Now here's a 1985 $1 bill that has a misaligned face printing. So same thing, the seals and the serial numbers are misaligned, they're shifted downward here on this bill. Not in the best condition, the bill has stains, but the $1 bill here still sold for over $225. So I'll take that any day of the week for a dollar bill. Now here is a 1993 $1 bill Printed fold over error taking place here. You'll see that it was folded over and then that seal and serial number was printed on top of that fold. So that is very cool. Uh, man, would love to have something like that in my collection. This $1 bill sold for over $430. Now here's a 1995 $1 bill in very rough condition. Of course, it has been, uh, you know, creased up and fold it over so you know definitely don't do that to your pills uh, especially if you find an error like this uh, this is an awesome fold over error uh, with that overprint on the back so we'll see the uh, seal is missing here on the front along with the serial number but here on the back of the bill we'll see that black seal and the serial number as well blending in there with the green uh, of the back printing there so that is pretty cool man I love that bill this bill sold for $240 graded by PCGS now here's a 1995 $1 bill that has an inverted overprint, and we can see the top of the other bill here. So this $1 bill, not in the best condition either, sold for around $385. Can't beat that, man. That's an awesome error there. Too bad someone folded that in half and, and quarters, man. Oh gosh, that's such an awesome error. Now here is a 1996 $100 bill. Federal Reserve note here, it has a cutting error, that's why you can see the uh, 
other part of the top of the bill from the bottom here. Uh, if I said that right, kind of confusing. It is in very good condition, uh, but this $100 bill did sell for over 500 bucks. Five times its value, man. Can't beat that. Now, of course, you got to pay to have it graded and things like that. So, you know, you got to take that out of your profit. But, but hey, man, you make three, three fifty off a hundred dollar bill. You can't beat that. Now, here's a 1996 one hundred dollar bill that has an insufficient inking error. So, we'll see that here on the back of the bill. You'll see it all faded out there on the left side. The front of the bill looks very normal, and this bill sold for two hundred and forty dollars. This next bank note here is a $20 bill from 1996. We'll see that it looks very normal, like a circulated $20 bill. I mean, you can even see how creased up it is here on the back of the bill, going through the middle of the bill there. Man, just rough condition, right? But someone passed it up many times, and then someone really caught it in uh, circulation because it's missing that green treasury seal that's supposed to be over the word 20 there. So always be on the lookout for that. This bill sold for over $100 even in this condition. You know, had it been in much better condition, of course, it could have sold for more money. Now here is a paper jam error taking place on a 1996 $100 bill. We'll see that there on the right side of the bill, very obvious. Uh, this $100 bill sold for over $525. Here's another $1 bill, Federal Reserve note from 2006. This bill here is not very valuable. It just has a minor district seal inking error. So we'll see that there on the black seal. Uh, just a you know minor error there. So the bill only sold for a little over 40 bucks. Not really worth having graded, but hey, it's a $40, $1 bill. Now here's a $1 bill that is missing the whole face printing. So we got the seal and serial numbers, but not the face print. Uh, man, that is awesome. Love these types of errors. This $1 bill sold for over $450. Feel free to check out my other coin and currency videos here on the channel. We're uploading every single day. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.